Now suppose this is any curve of force versus displacement. Okay. Now area under the curve I am saying would be equal to work done. That is because if we divide this area into numerous narrow columns like this and we consider one random column, the area of this rectangle would be length into breadth. The length is y axis which is equal to force and the breadth, the width is displacement and this is a very narrow one. So, we will write it as small change in displacement. So, this area is length which is force and this width because y x axis is displacement from this point to this point there is a small change in displacement. So, this is actually ds small change in displacement. This can be written as ds. So, area of this rectangle is force into ds and this is equal to the small work done that we have studied so far. Small work is force into small displacement force into small displacement because I am making the width of this rectangle so narrow that this y axis is the value of the corresponding y axis on the y axis is not going to change considerably. The difference between this side of the length and that side the other length will be almost the same. There will be no considerable difference at all and that small error, error will be actually corrected by the integration. When we use the formula of integration, the correction is made automatically by it. So, we do not need to worry about it and this change in y is very small. So, this approximation is good enough to consider the area of this, to consider this to be a rectangle is a good enough approximation and considering that the area is force into small displacement and this is a small work and when you add each one of them, then you add the area of each rectangle and that is what integration is. Adding area of each rectangle is means you are doing the integration on dw. Integration is nothing but summation. So, from here you can see that the area under the force versus displacement graph is nothing but work. So, even though if you have something like this in which force is also changing and displacement is also changing, but finding the area of this kind of region is very easy. So, you can find the work without using integration directly by finding the area. So, I will give you more problems on this into the exercise. When you solve the exercise, you will have more practice on this. Now, I am giving you a problem based upon the Cartesian form of vector force and displacement are vectors, we can represent them in Cartesian form as well. So, suppose force has been represented as minus 2 i cap plus 15 j cap plus 6 k cap, this much Newton. Vectors can be represented as this, we have seen this before, so it should not be a problem for us now. And displacement which this force has caused, that displacement is 10 j cap. That means the displacement is along y axis. So, uh, can you find the work done by this force? Work done is simply force vector dot displacement vector. So, you just have to do the dot product of these two vectors, which is a cakewalk for you. It will be 150 Newton. This and this, this and this would be 0, and this and this, j cap into j cap would be 1. So, you, you have enough practice of doing the dot product. So, not a problem. Similarly, suppose the particle was at a position vector 3 i cap plus 2 j cap minus 6 k cap and it was moved by a force to another position vector 14 i cap plus 13 j cap plus 9 k cap and the force vector which did it is 4 i cap plus j cap plus 3 k cap. Okay. So, you have been asked what is the work done by this force. So, work done is nothing 
but force vector dot displacement vector. You have been given initial position, you have been given final position. All you have to do is find the displacement vector. Displacement vector is final vector minus initial vector. So S vector is final minus initial. This minus this. That would be 11 I cap plus 11 J cap plus 15 K cap. You just have to subtract. And then you have to do force vector dot displacement vector. This into this, this into this, this into this. So find the answer orally. Find it out, find it out. So the answer that you must have got should be equal to 100 unit, Newton. Alright, easy.